530, the fate of a Lawrence teenager accused of beheading a classmate is now in the hands of a jury. Now, prosecutors say Matthew Borges was only 15 when he killed Lee Manuel Valoria Paulino in December of 2016. WBZ's Lisa Greshi has the story. 16-year-old Lee Valoria Paulino's face worn on the hearts of his family. On the back of these shirts, we want answers. We need answers. We need justice. Justice, they hope, is still to come. We did this last year when, in a, when we held a memorial. A memorial. In the closing arguments made to the jury, the prosecution laid out all of the evidence they believe proves Matthew Borges killed the 16-year-old in 2016. Text and social media messages with friends, love interests, a notebook with entries seemingly premeditating the murder, and the motive. Borges was jealous. A mountain of evidence that isn't subject to interpretation, it's evidence that points to one person and one person only him because he's the one who did it. The defense immediately questioning how reliable texts and social media can be in a murder trial. If they are relying on that to prove that Matthew killed Lee, it's a joke. The prosecution also brought up Borges' friends and what they knew about the murder. He told me he did it. He told me he stabbed him a lot of times and he cut his head off so they wouldn't know who it was. The defense reminding the jury the very same group of friends were in on breaking into Valoria Polino's home. There's some big secret that these kids are hiding. Before the 12 person jury was dismissed for deliberation, they looked at Lee Valoria Polino's face one more time. The defendant took everything away from him, took who he was and who he was going to be. The family tells us these past few weeks have felt like they've lost Lee all over again and can only hope closure and a verdict come soon. Reporting in Salem, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.